Here we go. Yeah, yeah. First morning. Here we are. Dag. Start of the high Dag. country trip. It's early in the morning. Don't know what time. 7.30, something like that. Something like that. Something like that. And pack up, <laughs> breakfast, get on the road. Get into Tom and Brogan today. That's the plan anyway. Should be good, should be good. We've got daily driver up for grabs. <laughs> yes. See that later. The trophy's back here. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Alright, let's hit you on the road. Do the road. Something. Do something about the road. Get on the road, do the road. Do whatever you want to do. Just get on the road, people. Let's just get moving. <laughs> Breakfast. Mm. Look at our day's driving. We're somewhere over here. Yeah. Head down to Omeo, Benambra, Limestone Road, Beluka Road, if that's how you say it. Boomba or Boomba Log Road. Mount Gibbo track up to Mount Gibbo. Up to Mount Pinabar. And plan on coming down Mount Pinabar track and camping somewhere around Tom Grogan tonight is the plan. Question is, who's going to win the Daily Driver Cup? <laughs> Vehicles for the trip. Paul and Winnie in the Bravo. We've got our 80 series. Justin in the 200. Ray in the big Grand Cherokee on 30, 35, 37s. I'm not sure what he's running this trip. Marco's riding shotgun with Ray in the Jeep. And Rob's got the big patrol back on the road again. First trip out. It's going to be good. Sarah's already had enough. She's having to lay down. <laughs> oh, I know, right? It's not too shabby. Not a bad little stopover point. Late night meet up here. Everyone into camp by about 11 o'clock last night. Coming from all different places. Camped on the Ovens River, not far out of Wangaratta. Let's hit the tracks.
heading up Mount Gibbo track. Not really difficult, but it's a bit of fun, eh? Views are nice.
Clearly, he's only got one gear, and that's the go gear. <laughs> Sarah just said I was gunning it up the hill. I'm like, yeah, get up there as fast as I can. How's the views? A bit hazy, but other than that. The sun was hot. It was. <laughs> I've never had to drive like this before. Yeah. It was worse than that, wasn't it, Paul, when we were in Flinders <laughs> Ranges? Oh, yeah, because you come up and there was... Yeah. <laughs> there was a hard left. I, I reckon that was stuff inside, jumping around, just yeah. as you came up that last little bit there. Oh, yeah, just checking it out. I hit a few times. What gear were you in? My third. <laughs> I was going to say, almost looked like high range. Just <laughs> coming up here, just oh. flat out. Just come straighten your wheels up, Paul. Straighten your wheels up. Just stop there, Paul. And then straighten your wheels up, so turn left. And then come forwards. Yeah, come forward from there.
Ho, ho, ho. Time for some lunch and then some fishing. Burgers for lunch. We're at the Poplars camp down on, well, Davies Plain Track, MacArthur Track. That's where we've sort of been going today. It's been some, a little bit more challenging driving than yesterday, but it's been good, hasn't it, Rach? Yeah. Nothing too crazy. Apparently, apparently tomorrow is going to be tougher. Limestone Creek track, apparently a guy on a Ford Ranger rolled over a couple of times here today. And he's needed plenty of assistance, but they had assistance there, so it's no good for him. But I think we'll be all right. Driver of the Day Award. Possibly getting handed out, possibly being debated. Who are you for, Paul? Ray. Ray. Thanks, Paulie. I vote for Paul. I'm voting for Paul too. Ray, why? Lots of wheel lift, crack and drive. I'm voting for Paulie. For what reasons? Same reasons. Lots of wheel lift? Lots of wheel lift, and you're running 29 and a half wheel lift. Yeah, well that's my default. Yeah, I'll just win every day. Which is why tomorrow it has to be handed off to somebody well, else. You, you can't win for the same reason. He can't he'll win every day. <laughs> no, no, well, that's why tomorrow he can't win but for then, the same reason. Then the whole it's it's the about the driver of the, the day, it's tainted. Because it is the best driver. The worst and if he does if he does oh, it every day, car. does that mean uh, I win? He's still the best driver. Not well, necessarily. If he rolled the car, he wouldn't be driving the That's right. He might be. What? Well, well then we have another real, award for balls going. of steel. <laughs> if, what about if he well, got bogged, stuck every time? He wouldn't win driver of the day. Yeah, That's didn't true. need any he assistance. Yeah, he did, and in which he may do tomorrow too. But I think he should win. Yay! Driver of the day. It doesn't matter, just do it. I made that. Girls, 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 girls. Like toils. <laughs> Oh. Hey. Hey. Well done, Paulie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that my award? <laughs> 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 uh, Look, Paulie's number one. <laughs> and I'm only a good driver because of all you guys. Maybe not you. Well done, Paul. You deserve it. Drive the route day goes to Paul in the Bravo. <laughs> You're going to have to put a date and a name on it. Oh, I, I should say there was no driver of the day yesterday. It was deemed that no one drove well enough, or maybe the tracks weren't hard enough, I don't know. There was just nothing worth it yesterday. Yeah, it's too easy going. Alright, so we're going up a section of Limestone Creek track, and I've gotten up. Paul's behind me, he's gotten stuck. So I've just got him to hold up while I've hooked up the strap. And just gonna give him a real gentle pull up, see how we go. Plenty of space there, boy. There. Sorry. How'd you go up there? Uh, this last little section, I went over to the left, but I think I was to the right for most of it. But easy, hard. Yeah, pretty easy going. A little bit of wheel slip, but not much. I put my front locker in. Did you? Yeah. I thought as I got to here, I thought I probably should have put the rear locker in. This is where I reckon front lockers are better. Yeah, because definitely. You spin the rear and they flick your. Yeah. If you're on rocks and you've got grip. Yeah. The rear.
one's up. It's all good. Bit of fun. Collect the remainder of the recovery gear and pack up. Really didn't take much of a pull. It was only low first and I just just helped him gain a bit of traction really. And then he was able to drive it on his own pull. So it did pretty well to get where he did. A lot of wombat holes coming up there. I think so. Right. <laughs> yeah. Take some pictures off of it. Here we are, end of the trip. Didn't do that much filming yesterday, um, driving up Limestone Creek track. Everyone was in a bit of a hurry to get out. Uh, Rob ended up with some engine troubles, thinking that the timing belt uh, slipped. Couldn't really do anything with it on the side of the track, so um, limping it out. Everyone, as a result of that, decided to head back home a day early. We decided to stay out for one more night, camped on the Minamina River by ourselves. Nice little spot we found. It's pretty rainy overnight though, so now we've got a, a wet pack up to do, which has been unfortunate, but that's how it goes. The final morning of the trip with some good driving, good views. Just an unfortunate one uh, with Rob's engine. Not going as well as you'd hope for its maiden voyage, so we'll have to get that sorted out and we'll go do another trip, I suppose. Kids have fun. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Been doing a bit of fishing down here at the river. Haven't caught anything though. Isaac did manage to hook up what we think was a brown trout on the Murray River at um, where were we? The Poplars camp. Yeah. But couldn't get it ashore, unfortunately. Good camping there at the Poplars as well. And so there you have it. That's that's our high country trip for this video. Remember to like and subscribe, share it, do all those things YouTubers tell you to do. And we'll see you in the next video.